Good afternoon, Democrats. My name is Sukari Johnson. I'm the first vice chair of the Clayton County Democratic Party and a state committee member. And I nominate Ted Terry for the first vice chair of the Democratic Party of Georgia. Listen, I don't take nominating anyone lightly. I take my vote very seriously. I look at what the person will bring to the position aside of my personal feelings. I've known Ted for over 10 years, I say BC before kids, and through his work with the Young Dems, Democratic Party of Georgia, and other progressive organizations, Ted was instrumental in getting young people involved. Yep. And training Democrats in all facets of getting out the vote. Yep. When I was working on a campaign, I remember calling Ted and said, I can't do vote build, I need your help. He met me at the Starbucks and helped me navigate through the system, and I can say I'm pretty good at it now. We, know, we all know running for political office is not an easy task. When he told me he was running for Mayor Clarkson, I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, I've been to Clarkson almost twice, and I was on accident. <laughs> but he was able to raise more money than any other candidate, utilize social media like he invented it, and get more volunteers because of his passion for service and his skill set for working with the Democratic Party of Georgia. And I admired that. And now I look at Clarkson in a whole new way. While Ted was vice chair of the candidate recruitment, he, tra he trained and raised a boatload of money, recruited and energized the next generation of Democratic candidates at all levels of government in Georgia. Georgia needs Ted. We need someone that can cultivate new donors, engage a diverse electorate to participate in the party, and educate voters on the importance of voting. Let me tell you the difference in what I believe in the first vice chair candidates. Ted can raise money at a statewide effort versus a county effort. Understands the roles of DPG and how things can be improved, the other doesn't. The difference in trying to develop a culturally diverse Democratic Party versus versus already demonstrating leadership within the city of Clarkston with an already multicultural community. There is a difference between having relationships and friends that benefit a selected few versus, versus actually doing the work that benefits all Democrats. This election cannot be about popularity. In the run for 2020, we must have the right leadership within the Georgia Democratic Party of Georgia, someone who has actually done the work without making up titles. You know a public servant by testing the measure of their values, their ethics, and their actions as they serve public interest. Ted won't give an excuse of why not to show up. He'll show up every time he'll the work. This is not an on-the-job training. That's why I'm not a Ted Terry for the first Vice Chair of the Democratic Party of Georgia, and we need your vote. Thank you. Good afternoon, Democrats. For those who may remember me, I'm Doug Stoner, former state senator, uh, state house member, but a longtime member of the Cobb County Committee. In fact, one of the founding members of that committee back way back in 1990. So I am here to second the nomination for Ted Terry for first vice chair. And let me make a point very quickly on that thing. As uh, Mr. Chairman, as you and I are former members of the House, I think it's best to hear from the candidate directly. So as we say in those chambers, I will yield the rest of my time to the candidate himself. <laughs> Twelve years ago this week, I actually sat in these halls, uh, in the corner, in the back, I was in the public, and I watched in awe as the Democratic process for the G chair election unfolded. I was 23 years old, I was new to Georgia, and I had just finished the campaign uh, in Athens, the state senate campaign, as a field director, and after the campaign I was invited by that candidate to uh, come and check out a state's uh, committee election. That candidate was Jane Kidd. 
And throughout the numerous speeches given that day, I noticed there was a reoccurring call to action. We need to get more young people involved. And for something we call the applied to, we hear it a lot, but I took it to heart. And over these last 12 years, I got involved. And because of many of the people in this room today, and the people who mentored me along the way, I saw why this Georgia Democratic Party had value to my generation's future. And it's why I needed to com uh, commit myself to help it succeed. And so I rise here today with the knowledge that I did not get here alone. I'm a product of Georgia Democrats' commitment to fostering future leaders. And so I want to sincerely thank each of you for your encouragement, guidance, and support these last 12 years that I've been involved in the state party and with my candidacy today for the first vice chair. So some of y'all probably have noticed that there is no job description for uh, the bylaws for the first vice chair, other than filling in for the chair, which I'd be happy to do. Uh, but here are my priorities. Number one, work hand in hand with the three other vice chairs. We have great candidates running this year, and I want to work with each of them to help them do their work. That means continuing the work of establishing strong recruitment committees in each of our counties, being the eyes and the ears on the ground, identifying leaders, fostering them, training them, and building our farm team of elected officials and community leaders. And no office is too small or too rural to recruit for. It also means recognizing the power that our constituent groups have and our caucuses bring to our larger political movement. I can honestly say that as the twice elected mayor of the most ethnically diverse square mile in America, that there is incredible power behind a coalition of Americans from all walks of life and backgrounds and religions and languages who are unified behind a common goal and vision. And I've done that in Clarkston. It also means empowering our county affairs work and holding up the knowledge and the expertise that our congressional district chairs, our county committee chairs, the leaders on the ground rural and urban, suburban and exurban, coastal, mountains, forests, and farms in between. Y'all are the glue that hold this party together, and I respect and acknowledge that you know what is best for your communities. Next, the first vice chair is a DNC delegate, and should be ready, willing, and able to make the case to the big wigs and the national funders outside of Georgia that our state is worth investing in. Right. Yep. So how do we do that? Well. I actually learned from a lot of people in this room um, that if you're running for something or you're trying to advocate for a cause or if you're raising money, you gotta talk to everybody and you gotta be the last person to leave the room. And so I've helped raise millions of dollars over the last decade for Democratic candidates, campaigns, and causes. Not thousands, not tens of thousands, not hundreds of thousands. Millions of dollars over the last decade. I'm gonna bring that fundraising experience to this position on day one. And I will be the last person to leave that room of potential donors. Uh, a quick few points, because I've talked to a lot of you on the phone and met with you in person, so I want to call back um, some things that I received feedback on uh, during these last few weeks. Number one, we're going to start planning out our state committee meetings in advance. Uh, we're going to get them on the calendar early. So we're going to ensure that's participation. Hopefully we can amend the bylaws of the next committee meeting to allow for proxy and digital participation. Yay! And my favorite idea from a lot of y'all is we should use at least one of our state committee gatherings a year as an opportunity to bring everyone together, yes. not just sitting in pews here and listening to us talk. Maybe it's at the end of the summer, early fall, we have a two-day conference where we network, take care of some state committee business, break out to work groups, caucuses, panel discussions, trainings. And maybe we can even end the, uh, the evening uh, with a nice event and we can invite some of our, by then, probably 19 Democratic can candidates for presidents. <laughs> uh, the philosophy I bring to this position is summed up in the words of Lila Watson, quote, if you have come here to help me, you are wasting your time. But if you have come because your liberation is bound up with mine, then let us work together. Fellow Democrats, I'm not here to help you. Your success is my mission. It's our future. Now let's work together. Thank you.